where they've lost $400 million of value. Uh, a company went out of business. There was a flash crash in May of 2011 where these algorithms <clears throat> conflicted. Nobody, nobody really knows why they, why they, they fought, but it, it, cost, it cost, caused some stocks to plunge in value, but, they, but the next day the, the, uh, the NASDAQ regained that, that value. Our banking system is, relies on AI 100%. Computers are everywhere and we're dependent on them, but how do they jump to dangerous? This is a guy who's now a friend of mine. His name is Steve Amahundro. He's an AI maker who's doing what, I've, what I think that we've, some necessary work that we've got to do, and that's he's developing a science for understanding how, how artificial superintelligence will behave. And you think, well, it's, it's superintelligence. It's smarter than we are. How can we understand something that's smarter than we are? And so he uses rational agent theory from economics. In brief, if you remember homo economicus, if you remember rational agent theory, a rational agent, a buying and selling agent in, a, in an economy, acts rationally when it, when it maximizes its, its utility function, which are its, its values, its goals and values. And that's called its utility function. It doesn't work with humans because we're not rational. We're not purely rational. We're impulse buyers. It's, it's lousy at predicting markets. But it should work with computers. It should work with logic-based processors. So the, the hope is you can model what some of the behaviors of, of super intelligent rational agents will be. And it works like this. Self-improving machines will pursue the goals they're programmed with whether that's space exploration or playing chess or picking stocks. To succeed at achieving their goals, they'll need resources, whether that's energy or money or hardware or whatever's most expedient. They won't be satisfied with trying to fulfill their goals. That will be one route to success. They'll also seek to avoid failure modes, like being unplugged or having some other intelligent agent competing with you thwart your goals. In other words, they'll protect themselves. They'll be efficient and not squander resources. And they'll use their superintelligence to find creative ways to achieve their goals. And since improving their own software will be one obvious route to goal success, they'll grow their own intelligence at an exponential rate at supercomputer speeds. Now here's the rub. Being friendly isn't on Amahundro's list. Superintelligence does not imply benevolence. Being smarter does not imply being kinder. <coughs> Superintelligent machines aren't dangerous because they'll malevolently, malevolently try to overthrow us. But for any goal the machines might have, it'll be useful for them to use all available resources to achieve that goal. Now, with super 